Good evening and a very warm welcome to Love on the Cross on Thursday the 7th of March. This is our series of stories and prayers and meditations for the evenings of Lent. Our opening music today was Fire of Love by Margaret Ritzer. Tonight we call to mind the guidance and help Lord, you give us each moment of every day. We thank you and we praise you, holy God, for you alone have the words of eternal life. Holy God, you breathe your life into us now as we offer you our praise and thanksgiving for all the blessings we have had today and for your life laid down for us. May our words be worked out in fresh commitment to you. The first of our two readings this evening is the words of a hymn written by Timothy Rees, who lived from 1874 to 1939. God is love, and he enfoldeth all the world in one embrace. With unfailing grasp, he holdeth every child of every race. And when human hearts are breaking under sorrow's iron rod, then they find that self-same aching deep within the heart of God. God is love. And though with blindness sin afflicts the souls of men, God's eternal loving kindness holds and guides them even then. Sin and death and hell shall never over us final triumph gain. God is love, so love forever over the universe must reign. Our second reading continues our Lenten journey through Matthew's Gospel. Tonight, chapter 23, verses 34 to 40. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together. But one of them, a lawyer, asked Jesus a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Thanks be to God. And now let us pray. Lord, you have shown us in Jesus that you are love. Help us to love you deeply and to love our neighbours as you love us. Amen. Amen. Join together now in the Lord's Prayer, saying, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, help us to make this Lent a time to make the desert journey and renew our way to life. A time for testing and for changing. A time to trust your word. A time for forgiveness and for healing and to repent of our broken lives. A time to build your holy dwelling with us and proclaim full life for all a time to watch and wait with Jesus and to prepare the upper room, a 
time to turn our lives again to you and to transform our world with love. Amen. Amen. At this evening hour, may the Christ who walked on wounded feet walk with us upon the road. At this evening hour, may the Christ who serves with wounded hands stretch out our hands to serve. At this evening hour, may the Christ who loves with a wounded heart open our hearts to love. Amen. Amen.